Hello! It's in the world here, back with our Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 Full Restoration Series. Today, by user's choice, we're going to be searching for a Dodge Viper. Let's dive in. Alright, so as you can see, instead of going to the junkyard of the barn, I actually started to check out the auction house to see if we can find this Dodge Viper. According to the mod, you can find it in the barns or in the auction. Uh, it's easy enough to change and add that to the junkyard, but I thought this would be a little more fun. We haven't done much with the auction house in our series, so let's see if we can't get this car. Oh yeah, we want this. And I'm sure this game will bid me up like crazy. I'm not sure what the actual value is. I thought they... One of the perks tells uh, the car value is 307,000. Oh, we're going to be sitting here a while. They're going to raise me up to probably at least 350 or 4, 000, you know, 400,000. And we have a winner. So it did it did take us a little bit. Let's take this back to the garage. And have ourselves a look. Alright, so here's the beauty. Let's take a look. It's actually in really good shape. Let's take a look. Uh, so a lot of the parts aren't marked. But body condition, frame, and interior is all at 100%. And the global parts condition is at, at 82. There's really not going to be much work to do. Body's taken care of. The frame, everything like that, we don't have to mess around with. Alright, so we've got it over here on the lifter. Let's go ahead and pop open the hood. Oh, look at this. This V10 engine. <laughs> I can't help but smile looking at that. Oh, it's got so much power. Um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to tear this down completely. I'll leave the body and the interior in. We'll pull out the engine, we'll put all tuning parts in, we'll repair everything to 100%, and then we'll come back and take a look. We've got the engine disassembled. Let's go jump right back in and we're going to rebuild this thing with some tuning parts and everything at 100%.
And with that, we've got the engine completed and thrown into our brand new Dodge Viper. So I ended up taking the car over to the paint shop. We put a new coat of paint on while we were finishing up the engine. I went in, redid all of the suspension. We threw the engine in. Last thing we have left to do is actually to put the engine cover on. Perfect. I don't know about you guys, I love a cherry red Dodge Viper. Got the white stripes going through there. I've seen a lot of blue ones too. I think the blue looks good, but this car is mean and it's screaming out for attention. And boy, that red coat of paint does it. So, rather than showing you guys the painting, the reassembly, and all that other good stuff, in our last video, we were kind of discussing the idea of the modded, or the tuning parts for the uh, transmission. So what I wanna do is mess around with this just a little bit, see if we can't figure out some idea of how these gears work, what kind of performance we get. We are going to start off by setting a baseline with the default configuration and we'll see how that does at stock. I'll meet you guys over at the racetrack. So to be kind of standard, I'm just going to jump on the gas, hold it down. That way it's a consistent run every time. The only adjustments I'll make is to make sure it's staying straight. But even those, those will be minimal. And let's see what our top speed at stock does. It had good performance to start. It stayed in line. And it looks like we maxed out at 350 kilometers. So that's our stock, folks. And let's keep playing around. All right, so we're in the tuning setup for the Dodge Viper. I'm going to play around just a little bit. I think. Let's try raising this up to four. This one we're going to take. And I am i don't have a good system for setting this up, honestly. I'm trying to give it just a little bit of room to take off, give us plenty of gears. And I just want to see if we slowly increase this up, if we can't get the top speed to kind of kind of go how we want it to. Let's see. We want to see an increase, that's for sure. I want to do sticking with the pattern 350. And I'll throw in just one more gear. Because we want to see this car go over 350. That's That was the whole goal of this. Perfect. Again, I do not claim to know anything about the tuning of this. We're just playing around to see if we can get a higher top speed. From what I've been reading, the gearbox has a lot more to do with the... Um, how the tires react on the track. Especially when you're jumping off the acceleration here since we have slicks we really didn't have an issue with the stock setup of the tire spinning yeah those gears at the beginning might just be a little bit too close together that seemed very clunky shifting about let's see how this performs top speed wise Okay, so we actually hurt the top speed. Interesting. Let me play around just a little bit further and we'll come back with an update. Alright, so it seemed to have caught just a little bit quicker. I took the stock settings and adjusted them just a little to the left. Not by much. Just enough so the gears are picking up a little bit quicker. Hoping we see a little bit of a difference with this. Yeah, wow, that made it much worse. So 
So here's the tuning setup that I just tried. Go ahead, we'll keep it there. Let's drop down the ring. I don't think we want to drop it down. Actually try increasing that just a little bit. Keep it where it's at and add a seventh gear. We'll see if that affects performance any. Because this is only a thousand horsepower engine and we have slick tires on here, I don't think we're going to see a huge performance gain by tweaking the ratios on the gearbox just because that mostly helps with you know, when you're launching, keeping the tires ripped on the road. As we can see, we're fluctuating just a few kilometers per hour. Uh, we still haven't broken the stock settings. Yeah, that one was a little better, but... Yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys think is a better ratio setup for this car. Uh, what might be a, you know, better... Better performance what am I screwing up what don't I understand about the gear ratios um, this is an area of the game I haven't messed around too much with because again you tweak these settings just a little bit but when you're maxing out the cars performance when you got good tires you don't see a huge significant change you know percentage wise in the top speed uh, the times might be a little better but you're just shifting those numbers around so with that, thanks for watching as I simulate my life one game at a time. If you like this video, please be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of the future action. You can follow on Twitter for updates of future games being played, as well as follow on Twitch as I try to stream three days a week. Thanks, and I'll see you next time at Sim the World.